y'all. Thanks for tuning in. It's JR right here, Local 10. In episode 4, I believe it is. <laughs> Got my friend here, Michelle Ingram, sitting here with me. And what this is, is I spend 10 minutes with local artists, ask them five rapid-fire questions. And uh, the reason I started this was to shine a light on a lot of local artists who don't get national uh, credits because we're not getting asked for any music awards and there's too much talent to go unnoticed. So here we go. All <laughs> right, five questions. Here we go. Oh. First one, just answer however, okay. and you're good to go. Okay. First question is, what did you do before playing music? Well, I was um, going to high school. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> Probably working at McDonald's, everybody's first job. <laughs> okay, you've done this a long time, so what did you do while you were playing music? Um, I'm a massage therapist. I've done, I've worked at grocery stores and flower shops and yeah, I mean I've kind of been it all, like everybody else, you know. A, a lot of things. Grocery store, clerk, and I, I, I'm a floral designer though, I did do that. So basically anything to make the mortgage payments and the <laughs> right. car payments. Yep, okay. and, I always, and sometimes I quit music to do that job and it, I always return to music. I hear that, I hear that. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. Okay. How did you get into music? Oh, my mom and my dad both. My dad gave me uh, three chords on the guitar and I took off. They so, both played? Uh, my mom played uh, organ and she sang and wrote songs and my dad didn't really know how to play guitar. He knew how to play three chords and he taught them to me and then I, you know, kind of took off. <laughs> okay, what were those three chords? <laughs> G, C, and D. <laughs> well, that works. You got half the folk industry down right there. <laughs> <laughs> and every other country song on the planet. <laughs> that's, that's right. Andre, right. cool. Okay. Any heroes over the years? Any of your musical heroes that you were able to meet? Oh, uh, to meet? Oh, I don't know about meeting. Um, but I can just say that um, some of my musical heroes are a lot of the female singer-songwriters like Bonnie Raitt and Sean Colvin and Jonathan Brooke and, I don't know, Melissa Etheridge, um, all of those. But I never got to meet them yet. I would love to, though. That would be great. We saw Bonnie Raitt a few years back. And, uh, at St. Augustine. She sounded every bit as good as she did 30, oh, yeah. 40 years ago. Oh, yeah. Just killer. She's getting better and better. Killer, yes. <laughs> okay. Now you've played out for quite a while. Are there any funny stories that you could tell in the, for the public? Any funny stories you could think of that you can share? Oh, well, I mean, when I was in a duo once before, um, uh, we would tour around the country, and it was one time we drove from Iowa to Texas, and um, when we drove from Iowa to Texas, it was winter, winter, winter in Iowa and warm in Texas. So, mm. but um, we 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 it was like two o'clock in the morning, and we had to pull over to a gas station that was ha happened to be open, and and we pulled into the gas station. I went in to use the restroom and pay for it prepaid, and he pumped the gas, and I came back outside, and uh, he said, "I'm going to go in and get something to drink. I'll be right back out." So we. We got back in the car, <laughs> and we drove off, and we heard this clunk. <laughs> he had left the gas nozzle. Oh god! <laughs> in the car and pulled it completely off of the tank, <laughs> the hose and all. And we got into a fight over that, and he was blaming me because I didn't see it still in <laughs> the oh, gas tank. And, but he was <clears throat> the one pumping the gas, and he thought since I came back out, I would have saw it. I should have. Pulled it out. <laughs> so we got into a fight for about <laughs> over a gas nozzle. About how, uh, yeah, about <laughs> whose fault it was that that was left in the gas tank. So that's that's one funny story. <laughs> I'm sure we've all done that. I've done it. I was really embarrassed. I was all embarrassed. I we went down. I left the gas station. Drove down 441 out of Bellevue, and I was so embarrassed. I felt like I had to go back. I walked in with this gasoline hose and all. I walked into the store. I think this is yours. That's exactly what happened to us. We took it back in, you know, and, it, and then and then we got a bill. We got a bill for it. They were gonna really, yeah. They were gonna try to charge us. Oh goodness. For for replacing <laughs> the the That's pump. Funny. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm just like, yeah, man. What are they gonna do? <laughs> Not like they could find you. You're on your own. <laughs> right. Okay, this one uh, is always interesting. Do you have any advice for new musicians wanting to play music for a living? Ooh, that is a good question. Did you ask this question to everybody? I, I ask all five of them to everybody. Oh, yeah? So far. Okay, well, um, I think 
I think um, practice your craft a lot and um, you know and don't worry about you know if it's really all about the audience it's not about it's about you too but it's really about what the audience wants um, so find your style of people find your venue that fits your style and conquer your area first and before you venture out into other areas just conquer your region first and then start spreading your wings and I don't know I don't know if that makes any sense at all but oh, yeah yeah you know I mean you know it, it's easier to conquer your little area first and then just kind of spread out um, uh, and start doing tours later on because if nobody knows who you are locally they're not gonna know who you are <laughs> regionally or kind of like uh, internationally <laughs> right right kind of like uh, musically with my voice I can't go out and sing journey stuff yeah or anything up in the higher range unless I change the keys and that so I'd have to find the key that fit my voice yeah. in order to yeah. and the same with the venues uh, I'm not going to go to uh, a hard rock venue and play uh, country songs all night long right so that's what I meant by you yeah. know find venues that fit you so I mean like I also book um, mm -hmm. talent at a place at uh, in, in Crystal River and you know I I get a lot of different uh, people that send me stuff and I and and, and this this uh, venue is a little like it could it could easily turn into a like more of a biker kind of scene where it's like classic rock and uh, southern rock and country and I, I get these sweet little young ladies that want to play there and I'm just like you know <laughs> you're really good but I don't think it's a venue for you. <laughs> right, yeah. Even though I, I mean, I'm a female and I play there, but I consider myself a little harsher, a little harder. Like I'm rock and I'm southern rock and I'm a little bit of country, but I'm I'm kind of a classic rock girl. I'm not a folky. I'm not a I'm not a pop pop singer. You know, I can do a couple pop songs. I can do some country songs, but I can't do. So you don't do Britney Spears. Or no, and no. I, I mean, I mean, if you're gonna ask me to do some, I mean, I get requests for Taylor Swift a lot, and I'm yeah. like, you're kidding, right? <laughs> Have you seen my age? I mean, come on, you gotta be age appropriate. People, age appropriate. Yeah. Sing songs that are age appropriate. That's another one. There you go. Don't be uh, 14 know. years old singing about heartache. Well, no, I'm sure they have some heartache. Yeah, but true. you know, but don't sing, uh, don't be 14 years old and sing a song about sex. <laughs> or whiskey. <laughs> or whiskey. You know. Hot dog monkey and two. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's I mean, true. Come on. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it'd be realistic. Yeah. yeah. And All then right. if you're like a 50 some odd years old, like me, I'm not going to sing a uh, Taylor Swift song or anything that. Sing it about your boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Age appropriate. That works. Good <laughs> advice. All right. Once again, thank you for doing this. And uh, tune in next time. We'll have episode five. Never know who's going to be here. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Uh, thank you, JR. Yeah.